Hello and welcome. Pause the video, read the problem, and try it on your own. Let's read this problem together. It says write the value of x in the equation below. Alright, so let's get a sense of what's happening here. I see negative 3 plus 2. It's in parentheses. I notice that the exponent is 0. And they want to know what does this equal? What number? x. So we're essentially solving for this um, expression right here. So I say negative 3 plus 2, right? We, let's add those first in parentheses. That's negative 1. And then that result is being raised to the 0 power. So this is to the 0 power. Now what does that equal? It might be tempting to say it equals 0, but the, the fact is that um, we've established in many problems that negative 1 to the 0, or in fact anything to the 0, anything other than 0 that is, anything to the 0 power is 1. Right? So let's revisit why that is so we're comfortable with that idea. Um, let's use negative 1 as our base to explore why the 0 power still gives us a result of 1. So let's say we have negative 1 squared. Right? What does that mean? Well, in exponential form, we could set it up to think of this, this expansion as starting with 1 and always starting with 1. Then we multiply by our base, negative 1 in this case, two times, right, because the power is 2. Now we don't have to start with 1 here in the front, and that might seem a little bit odd to you, but I think that's really helpful to show the pattern as to why the 0 power lead, leads us to an answer of 1 and not something like 0, which you would expect. Alright, so negative 1 to the first then is just 1 times 1 negative 1. And then what would negative 1 to the 0 have to be? Well notice one, one pattern that we're seeing emerge here is that we start with 1 and then we multiply a base a certain number of times. In this uppercase here, 1 times negative 1 twice. Then when the exponent is just 1, we only multiply by 1 negative 1. So it's 1 times negative 1. So here in 0, we still have this leading 1 that we have established, but there are no negative 1s to multiply it by. And that means that, of course, this result is just 1. So there are other ways to think about why the zero power leads to 1. I'll just leave it here so we have something to think about. And the basic law of exponents that we're using here is that x to the 0 equals 1 as long as x is not 0. In other words, if we're dealing with 0 to the 0 power, right, that's an entirely different story. And that's something you wouldn't typically see in these kind of problems. All right, thank you.